Over the year, some of the worst financial advice that I've ever heard or I've ever received was with regards to investing in a 401k. Over the years, I've heard many people say that investing in a 401k is not a good option or it's just a flat out scam. Now, to be clear, there are pros and cons with every investment opportunity and investing in a 401k is no different. But for the vast majority of people, investing in a 401k is the most solid way for them to start building wealth. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over some of the pros and some of the cons of investing in a 401k. And by the end of this video, you should have some additional information that will help determine whether investing in a 401k is right for you. Now, most of us have heard a story about how either a teacher or a janitor were able to retire and have millions of dollars in their 401k. And for the most part, their families are absolutely shocked when they find out how much money that these people were able to accumulate over the course of their career. And for the most part, these people are not making six figure incomes every single year. How were they able to achieve massive nest eggs by earning average income over the course of their entire career? To amass Mr. Reed's $8 million fortune, it might not be as hard as you'd think if you live as long and as frugally as he did. Financial expert Chris Hogan has crunched the numbers for us and joins us now. You'd have to invest about $300 a month over 65 years for a total of less than $270,000 put in to get to that amount. Chris Hogan is here, as I mentioned. Also and when you start to break it down and you start to look at the details of how they were able to achieve this, you will see that they were able to achieve this by investing small amounts of money over a 20, 30, 40, in some cases, 50 year period to build their wealth. Because whenever we start investing, especially if we start investing in our 20s, we have a long runway to invest for a longer period of time. And that's where the magic of compound interest starts to come into play that starts to make your portfolio explode exponentially over a long period of time. So as you're thinking about whether or not a 401k is a good option for you, let's go over a couple of the pros of investing in a 401k. So the first thing will be the company match. So it's fairly common for most companies to offer their employees a match up to a certain percent. And I typically have seen anywhere between that four to 6% range. If your company's offering more than 6%, it's probably going to be more of an outlier. But what I always say, and what most people say, is that if you're not investing in your company's 401k, at least up into the match, you're leaving money on the table just by investing at a minimum the match. If there's any other investment opportunity where someone will come in and match up to a certain percent of what you're investing, then you go ahead and take that opportunity. But off the top of my head, I don't know of any other opportunities that will come across that will allow you to have someone to match up to a certain percent of what you put into a retirement account. So the next pro of investing in a 401k is it reduces your overall taxable income. When investing in a 401k, you're investing pre-tax dollars, which ultimately reduces the amount of taxes that are taken out of your check whenever you get paid. Which segues into the third pro of investing in a 401k, which all the money that you invest in your 401k grows tax deferred. And you won't pay any taxes on that money until you're able to pull money out of that account when you're 59 and a half. Now the next pro on the list is the amount of money that you're able to invest in your 401k. And as of 2024, the overall amount that you are able to contribute to your account is $23,000. So if you are able to max out your 401k, then you're gonna be reducing the overall amount that you pay on taxes by $23,000 on the year. So this could be a great option for some people that make enough money that they can max out their 401k and they're not concerned with investing in any other investment vehicles to help them when they get to retirement age. Now the next pro is most companies will also offer a Roth 401k option. And what that simply is, is that allows you to invest post-tax dollars into your retirement account, which means that all of the money that you invest in that account grows tax-free. So whenever you start to withdraw money after 59 and a half, you get to do so 
tax-free. If you decide to invest in your 401k, it's going to be completely up to you how much money that you invest every single year. But in my opinion, I think it's a great way to automate your retirement savings. And after a while, you'll probably forget that that's actually even being taken out of your check. And you'll start to budget based on the amount of money that you receive after you, the deductions are taken out of your check. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not sitting around and waiting or expecting the federal government to take care of me whenever I can't work anymore. I'm taking matters into my own hands, taking some responsibility for my own financial future. And in my opinion, you should be doing the same thing. All right, so we talked about some of the pros of investing in a 401k. Now let's take a look at some of the cons. And the first one that comes to mind is the fact that the money that you invest in a 401k is tied up until you're 59 and a half. And you don't have any access to this money unless there is some type of hardship that allows you to pull some of that money out. And if you decide to pull any money out of this account that does not qualify for a hardship waiver, you are subject to a penalty of up to 10%. And on top of that, you will have to pay taxes on any of the money that you withdraw because remember the money that you invested into this account especially if it was a traditional 401k you didn't pay any taxes on that up front so if you withdraw that money you pay the 10 percent penalty as well as the taxes so if you're in the 22 percent tax bracket whenever you take the money out 32 percent of that money is gone off the top and on top of paying the fees and the taxes on any of the money that you withdraw, you are also required to record additional income earned that year. So whenever you file your taxes, you'll need to take that into consideration as well. Now, the next con is that some companies do not offer their employees a large selection of investments within the 401k. And on top of that, sometimes their fees can also be high. Now I did experience this at a previous company that I worked at, but I still invested up to the match because like I said, we're not leaving any money on the table. And then the next con of investing in a 401k, especially if you went the traditional route, is that you will be subject to taxes when you start to take that money out at 59 and a half and you will be taxed at your current tax rate that you're paying while you're in retirement so those are my pros and cons of investing in your company's 401k and in my opinion i think the pros outweigh the cons and for most people it's going to be the best option and the best opportunity to build wealth over time. Now, if you have any questions about investing in a Roth 401k versus a traditional 401k, I would recommend reaching out to your 401 plans administrator and scheduling time to speak to a consultant about your financial future needs. So I wanna hear from you. Are you investing in your company's 401k? Why or why not? And if you got some value from this video, take a minute, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.